they gave us a lot of support. Yeah. My name is Ezema Obin, uh, an engineer by profession. I'm in Nigeria, and I'm just to be precise. all to another exciting episode of Career Transition Series, where we dwell into inspiring stories of individuals who have successfully made remarkable leaps in their professional journeys. I'm your host, Arkapriya, and today we have an extraordinary guest who took a bold step towards a new career path after completing a course from Edureka. Joining us today is Mr. Enzenma Obina, who embarked on a transformative journey, embracing the power of education and skill development to transition into a new and exciting field. Yeah. My name is Enzenma Obina, an engineer by profession, and I studied electrical electronics and a bachelor degree. I have masters in instrumentation and control. Um, and I've gotten a lot of certification, especially in telecommunication and Python as programming. And I'm working with Peace Microphone and Bank in Nigeria, okay. also the head of the department and system administrator. I'm in Nigeria, and I'll put that to be precise. What motivated you to pursue a career and choose this particular course? Okay, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Uh, it's a nice thing to, to be here. Uh, what actually motivated me to take the path is um, actually the quest for more knowledge, the quest to understand how things work, especially in the area where I took part, the course that I took, which is cybersecurity. Really interesting. How to understand some things concerning vulnerability and penetration test. So some of those things we are things that I was eager looking forward to. In this part of the world, there's a lot of security breach, and I had to like see how I can understand how hackers actually attempt to hack sites, websites, and then how to mitigate such issues when it arises or before it starts arising. So that was the things that motivated me to take this part. As we know that career transition is not only a difficult task, but it is also a difficult decision to make. So how did you plan it? And when did you realize that you should be taking up such a course? Yeah, I planned it. Yes, uh, it took some, some months for me to gather. Of course, there are payments that are supposed to be paid. So it took some months for me to also realize that on months. Then with the work that I'm doing now to like put money together to be able to come up with the money that I'm supposed to pay. Yes, that is just it. So like what are the skills that you have learned and how did you apply it? Like the skills you have already mentioned. So how did you apply it in your uh, real time journey now? Okay, in real time journey, yes. I've actually applied um, one or two, three of them, mm -hmm. especially the, the website cloning. Mm -hmm. um, we used it to actually verify how some of the hackers in this part of the world uh, actually do that. And we are able to successfully get to know many of them. So I also applied it in even teaching other people who are under me. Of course, to understand how these things work. So, in so many places, uh, hiding of some hidden document messages and send it across to someone, which is part of the things that I also learned. You can send an image. Of course, the image will still contain part of the thing that you want to send. When the person opens the image through a uh, notepad, the person will be able to see the last part of the message which is not everybody that can see it. Very interesting. So we hide some secret uh, codes and send across to our colleagues and also customers who would like to secretly send uh, uh, items, codes to. And these things are the things that are actually applied while um, working after the course. 
why did you choose Edureka as your learning partner? Okay, uh, why I chose Edureka as uh, my learning partner is, first of all, the flexibility, the convenience. Mm -hmm. You have time during the, the holiday, which is Saturday in this part of the world, and mm -hmm. then Sundays to learn. So you have time to learn. And the time frame is also convenient for us in this part. In the evening time, so you have opportunity to be at home, mm -hmm. possibly, and still learn. And they will give you all the support. That is first one. Then second one, what prepared me to choose a Derika for this is actually the research I've done. I've seen people who have gone through a Derika and they attest to it. So I decided to also be part of a Derika course study. Uh, how was the support that you have got from Edreka, the customer support or maybe the instructors, how they have helped you in their in your journey? Yes, the instructors, we are very intelligent. Yes, okay. absolutely very intelligent. They, they gave us a lot of support. First of all, if you ask questions, they, any query you raise, they were able to answer and even if they are going not going to answer at that point in time of course they will answer in the next lecture concerning that and you can send across questions and they will still answer it during this class that is the section so the learning the instructors they we are practical you do the practical with them and they follow you up along the line while you're doing it if you have any mistake you request for help they will help you. So it was the instructors were absolutely very excellent in their instructions. So their tutoring is just absolutely amazing. Uh, I must commend them. Uh, I don't forget the the man that actually helped us in some of these things. He was absolutely good. That okay. is for the instructors. What challenges, uh, you know, did you face uh, during your career transition, and how did you overcome them? Okay, the challenge is, yes, they are bound, um, finding it difficult to, to be throughout all the trainings, mm -hmm. you understand, uh, because of the work schedules and some other things, yes, but I was able to go through them, much more efforts I have to put and also much more queries I have to raise to be able to cope, uh, definitely. So that's just it. Many people, they think about career transition at every point of time, right? But they're not able to achieve it. And the same thing goes for me as well. And even, even I thought of uh, taking a career transition, but I couldn't do it. So why do you think it, it actually affects people? And why do you think it's a difficult decision to take a career transition uh, decision? Taking career transition decision is always difficult because of uh, people find it difficult to adapt. You just have to adapt, you just have to shift, you just have to adjust, not mm -hmm. only to your time, you have to adjust your time, you have to adjust your feeding pattern to be able to read and expand your school. Mm -hmm. uh, but these things are possible by practicing first before you mm -hmm. take up the career transition. And also you need encouragement from your partners, your, your family supports, very, very important so that they can help you to go through the career transition. That was some of the things that actually helped me, family supports, moral supports, and I was able to go through that. If you put up your, your family supports in order, if they help you, definitely you get through the career transition. It's not, it's not something that is too hard to take, but you just have to put yourself together and morally, mentally, to be able to go through it and pre-plan before. How do you see your new career path evolving in the future? And are there any specific goals that you're working towards? Yes, yes. Uh, there are some goals that I'm working on, and I'm trying to see if I can be able to do yeah. that. And I'm seeing 
the career transition already is impacting in mm -hmm. my work, in my intellect, mm -hmm. and coherency and understanding of some principles behind cybersecurity. Yes, mm -hmm. they are helping already. I'm already improving and I've improved a little bit higher than what it used to be. Then looking forward to the future, I'm looking at uh, artificial intelligence and how it works. These are some of the areas that I want to actually venture into. And I'll be happy to be a partner too in that aspect with the Eureka, especially in artificial intelligence and data analysis. Yes. Great. What would be your suggestion to all the people who are watching the stream and how should they start their journey for a career transition? Yes, for those who are looking forward for a career transition, mm -hmm. just my advice to them is put yourself together. It's possible. You can. Mm -hmm. There is nothing you cannot do. Just for you to put yourself together, put your mental thinking together and start the journey. We started the journey and we are here. We are happy that we are actually achieving what we are supposed to achieve. So definitely, um, for those who are aspiring, definitely they have to put yourself together. Make sure that you do the right thing at the right time. And Edurica will help you definitely. They will, they will their support team are great. And for us who have passed through the degrees, the masters, instrumentation and control, these things are things that you also can do. They will, apart from the Edurica certification, you can also get more of all the certification that can help you to be versatile while you're taking the course mm -hmm. be of course definitely be good at most of the courses that mm -hmm. is my advice to them you can yes you can can indeed and that brings us to the end of another enlightening episode of our career transition series i want to express my deepest gratitude to our incredible guest for sharing his inspiring story and valuable insights with us Thank you all for joining us today and don't forget to tune in next time for more captivating stories and valuable insights. Until then, stay motivated, keep learning. Goodbye.